definition of a bad bitch Stole a heart, I'm the definition of a bad bitch Uh, subscribe to 500 James, you big chungus. Okay. Recently, I ordered these. It's a Zat Racing 1UZ, 3UZ aluminum pulley set. I guess it works for 2UZ as well. Um, come in black or silver, whatever. And you choose your options. It was about 250 bucks. And they all came in. They look nice. Um, if you choose meet me right here. He'll send you a Slim Jim. That was fucking cool. So, I'm about to install all of these. And I will weigh the difference of every pulley that I take off and install. And see how much lighter it really is. And on top of that, I'm also going to be switching to a, uh, a 3UZ tensioner assembly. I'm not sure if you'll have to do this. But I read somewhere that... Uh, the one UZ pulley that they send you in this kit for the tensioner doesn't fit. So you have to get the three UZ tensioner assembly and it fits on the one UZ motor fine. So I've got this, here's the part number and I'm about to install everything. Of course you want to change your belt when you do it. So I'm about to install everything and see if uh, it actually makes a difference in power or so, or if you could even feel anything or not. Keep in mind though that they do not list these as necessarily a performance part. It's more of a, you know, to kind of dress up your, your engine. They don't say anywhere that you're gonna gain horsepower or torque from doing this. I needed to change my tensioner assembly anyways because it was broken and I figured why not try these out and see if they make a difference. And I know how, my, how fast my car is now and I'm gonna put these on and see if it gains any power. We'll see. Now? We start. What do you think? Let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the power steering uh, pulley, if yours is pressed on and isn't held on with a nut, you'll have to change your whole uh, your whole pump for for one that is held on with a nut, or you can't use this. So luckily, mine's is held on with a nut and not pressed on. All right, first things first. You want to get the belt off. 14 millimeter right here. Pull up. Slide the belt off. Now I'm gonna get my power steering pulley off. It's a 17. Um, I'm gonna wedge a screwdriver in one of those little slots right there to get it stuck. So the pulley doesn't move and then turn it, get it off. Pretty simple. All right, I pulled this hose off just so I have a little more room. Just push it to the side. Don't wanna spill too much coolant. And then now pull the power steering pulley. All right, so I just put a Fucking little ass screwdriver right there. It holds it. I'm able to get this nut off. You might need a puller for this. I would think mine's will just come right off. Yeah, see, mine just came right off, but you might need a puller or just manhandle it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is uh, pull my alternator. So I think these ones drop through the bottom of the car and it's uh, two 14s. All right, if you are changing your uh, tensioner assembly like I am, it's gonna be four 12 millimeter bolts. I think right here on the top is just two nuts, and right here is two actual bolts. All right, have fun with that. All right, for right here, this is where your fan should be. I don't run my fan, but it'll be right here, so maybe pull the fan first and your shroud if you have that. Pull the fan shroud, pull this. There'll be four 12 millimeter bolts right here. You'll pull all of these. With an open end wrench, this will slide right off, and this will slide right off. And that's this. So, power steering pump. Hey, this one was already here. You don't gotta worry about this one. That one? Yeah, this one. Okay, one's okay. They'll never interrupt me when I'm filming again. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> once you pull through the power steering pulley and then the alternator, and then if you're doing the tensioner, you get these four bolts and this just slides right out. I got this hose in the way because I didn't run this the right way. Yeah, this slides right out. There you go. This is the easiest one until I dropped it. It's just a 14 millimeter, it comes right off. All right, now we're gonna start weighing shit, right? 
All right, I'm not sure my scale is actually gonna be able to weigh all this shit, but I'll, I'll just do this one as an example. Too heavy for it. Pulley from Zat Racing. About 200 grams. Let's see if uh, the power seam pulley. Hang on, that shit's heavy. Air from Zat Racing. About 290. So it's obviously getting so it's lighter. It's obviously getting lighter because it's able to read these really light pulleys compared to these ones, which are heavy. Uh, I used to be a drug dealer, so I only have this scale. I wish I had something else. But oh, we could do this one, right? Here is the fan pulley. Air, of course, figured. And here is the that racing fan pulley. 272. So I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much weight I'm actually losing, but we're losing weight. So here is the 1UZ tensioner compared to the 3UZ tensioner. They pretty much look identical. So I'm not sure if I needed to change or not. Okay, so now I got all the pulleys pulled. This is the 1UZ, one, the one 3UZ, and then the Zat Racing one. So we're gonna weigh them all. So these are cross-threaded, so you're gonna be tightening them to loosen them. Two sixty-six. That's the one UZ. Three UZ seems actually a little heavier. Two seventy-one. So it is heavier. Is that racing? No way. About two hundred one. Okay, there you go. About two hundred one. So every pulley is lighter than the stock pulleys. Every pulley. Whether you choose to go with the one UZ assembly or the three UZ, you don't run your washer. Take that off. Looks like there's no washer on. So, yep. Just so you guys don't pull this extra bolt, you don't need this one at the bottom. I shouldn't have pulled that. You just need that one, and then that's where your alternator mounts. So that bolt that holds your alternator on, that's the one you need to pull as well. So you don't need this very one at the bottom. I just pulled it because, well, I'm an idiot. All right, I got my tensioner pulley on with or the tensioner assembly with the zap pulley on it now i'm gonna put uh this one on and this one on i don't know if i ordered this one wrong when i put my car info in but this one doesn't fit so i'll dm uh zat about that see if we can make something happen this is not a sponsored video i just bought this to see how it is that's why i'm making this video so maybe if you guys don't want to waste your money on some shit that might not fit or maybe if you guys do want to buy it and it makes a difference we don't know yet all right well i believe there's a special tool you need for this but this is what we're going to try to get it off so we're going to tighten it down with a c-clamp i'm gonna have them hold it while i hit it with an impact hopefully that'll break it loose i think it will well that actually worked great it just comes right off c-clamp Easy, come right off. Here's the alternator pulley. Hopefully this shit fits. Yeah, that one fits. I was actually able to just like squeeze this really hard with my hand and then impact it. And uh, I mean, that seems fine to me. I could throw the alternator back on now and then we'll do the power steering pulley. And um, fortunately this one doesn't fit and we're running into a little issue with the idler pulley, but we'll try to address that right now. All right. Got that one on, got this one on. I know we'll be able to get the power steering pulley on. I think the only one we'll honestly have problems with is the idler and this one didn't fit. So yeah, $250, not really sure if it was worth it. It's on you. For the power steering pump, it's gonna be the same process that you did to remove it. Just block it off with a screwdriver, tighten it up. All right, so for this one, this one, uh, the original power steering pulley will slide right on and off. But for this, this is how you get it seated on there if it doesn't seat on there. Put a open end over that and just slightly tap it with a hammer. And then it'll seat all the way in. Ours is already seated all the way in. But if it seems like it's not going in, that's why. That's all you have to do. So that fits. That fits. That fits. That doesn't fit. And on to the last one. All right, for the idler pulley... You're guaranteed not gonna use the washer because it seems like it'll just stop it. 
But as if you see, I have it tightened down, and I don't know if you can really tell, but it's it's wobbly. So I'm gonna attempt to fix that right now. All right, for the wobble on the idler pulley to fix that, you just want to push this bearing towards where it says that racing. So what I did was I put it face down like this. Well, I put a I put a towel right here so I didn't scratch up anything. Put it face down. Took the bolt. Put it like this. I put a socket on this bolt and I just hammered the socket. Uh, I whacked it a couple times and then I put it back on and now it's not wobbling or nothing. So you just got to get the bearing seated and then it'll be fine. And yeah, I think now we're ready to, uh, to throw the belt back on and stuff. Put everything back together. All right, well, since I wasn't able to get this one on, I'm pretty much done. I got these four pulleys on. Um, I'm going to put a new the new belt on right now put the hose back the fucking air intake all back together and then I'll, I'll start it up all right everything's on i think do a startup hopefully uh the tensioner assembly fixed my uh squeaking noise at idle we'll see let this bad boy warm up plus 10. 12. I think my belt's squeaking because I'm missing two of these on a pulley for my fan. So we're going to get two more thrown on there. Hopefully it shuts up. Right? Yeah, he gets it. All right, here is the first drive after the pulleys. Uh, I'm actually driving like an hour right now. I floored it. It did seem like uh, the downshift hit a lot harder, or like when it downshifted, it, it, it felt like it pulled a lot harder. So, so far for the first test, it seems like it actually did make a slight improvement. I think it was worth it. It was only 250 bucks. You do get to dress up your engine a little bit and you are doing some preventative maintenance because there are new bearings in some of the pulleys that you get. And then you'll probably free up a little horsepower as well. So 250 bucks, takes maybe two hours to install, comes with a Slim Jim. Not a bad deal at all. Oh, beat your way and keep it working, <laughs> He walks away. <laughs> You guys seen the video of me swinging even just driving through the gears when i downshift and floor it and shit and and swinging it burnouts everything i do feel the i do feel a little bit of a difference is it the most noticeable difference no but it's probably worth the money you know maybe just to get a little extra out of your car especially if you plan on doing other mods to your car in the future the pulleys will probably go a long way so if you want to buy the pulleys i'll leave the link in the description to the exact website i got mine and thanks for watching Anything, anything to say? GS's are one-legged pieces of shit. If you're gonna get a GS and plan on doing donuts, what do you do? For sure. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty reasonable. Unless you're me and, and just have a driver mod, uh, peep my GS 300 videos no, of me just fucking. going stupid with one leg. <laughs> I'm the